dear Elvis, Emily is our great friend. Tomorrow is Emily's birthday. Let's surprise Emily. Emily likes chocolate cake. Sia, Jimmy, Omar, Victor are planning to make a chocolate cake for Emily. Dear Sia, you need to work on your pronouns. Pronouns? What does that mean? Pronouns are a great way to avoid repetition of nouns. Pronouns are words that replace nouns. I, he, she, it, they, we, us, them, you, him, her are some examples of pronoun. Of these, I, he, she, him, her are used for singular nouns. Pronoun it is used for singular animal or thing. They, we, them, us are used for plural nouns. You is used for both singular and plural nouns. For example, John scored the highest marks in the class. Here, our subject John is singular. Which singular pronoun do you think should replace this noun? Yes, you're right. It's he. So our sentence now reads as He scored the highest marks in the class. Now suppose Mark, studying in the same class, scored the same marks as John. This means John and Mark both scored the highest marks in the class. Now, our subject becomes plural, so we use the pronoun they. They scored the highest marks in the class. Let's have a look at another example. Elvis went for shopping yesterday. Here, Elvis is myself, so I use the singular pronoun I. So I can change this text to, I went for shopping yesterday. Jimmy is a good friend of mine and he likes to join me anywhere, anytime. If I say, I and Jimmy went for shopping yesterday, which pronoun can we use here? Yes, it's we, as the subject includes myself. So, the sentence can be read as, we went for shopping yesterday. Let's see another example. The cat plays with the yarn. As cat is a singular animal, we use the pronoun it. Now, if another cat joins in, so now we say, the cats play with the yarn. As cats is plural, we use the pronoun they here. So we read it as, they play with the yarn. Remember, you is the only pronoun that is same in its singular and plural form. For example, when a teacher says to his student, you are the brightest kid in the class, you is singular plural here. When the same teacher points to the entire class and says, you have a maths test tomorrow, she means the entire class and the you here is plural. Hope this information helped you. Can you now correct your text message? Dear Elvis, Emily is our great friend. Tomorrow is her birthday. Let's surprise her. She likes chocolate cake. We are planning to make a chocolate cake for her. Oh, Sincere. <laughs> <laughs> if you like our videos, Please do share and subscribe to our channel.